Hello guys, so I'm going to be talking about how to pay off your student loans and how to pay them off um, as fast as possible. So when, once you graduate from college, you'll have roughly six months, um, but you don't want to wait those six months to start making the payments uh, towards your student loan. Um, you actually want to start making payments uh, right before you graduate, you know, if you can. And not only making uh, payments, but you want to start making payments uh, that are going to be more than just what the minimum payment is. You know? So, for example, if your minimum payment is 200 you want to be giving $400, you know, or $500, you know. You also want to be getting, obviously, like a job, you know, either part-time or full-time, you know. Um, right now, it's really hard to get a full-time job. I would just recommend getting maybe two part-time jobs or get a part-time job and then, like, you know, something on the side, even if it's, like, a temp job, you know. Doesn't matter. Like your priority right now is just basically your student loans. You want to pay that off as fast as possible. So you want to be giving at least like seventy percent of your paycheck, you know, to the student loans. You know, so every month you want to be, you know, sending as much money as you can towards your student loan. Um, so I recommend also moving in uh, with your parents or with your uh, or some relatives. You know. Um, just help out, tell them that you're going to be helping around the house, um, that you're going to be cooking and cleaning, you know, doing chores, you know, washing the car, mowing the lawn, you know, um, cause that way, I mean, it doesn't really make so much sense to like graduate from college and then move in with roommates and then have, having to spend, you know, $400 on rent plus, you know, groceries plus, you know, so, you know, it all adds up, you know, and right now your priority, like I said, is paying off your student loans. So, you know, you're going to have to move in with your parents or relatives, you know, and it's going to suck, you know. Yeah, you know, you're not going to have any privacy, but, you know, you just need to suck it up. So just suck it up and then just make it work. So basically, um, when it comes to transportation, you want to be getting you want to get like a car that's like five or six years old, uh, maybe like a like a four cylinder um, Honda, Honda Civic, um, Toyota Corolla, something that's like a four cylinder. Cause that way the, ch the gas will be cheaper. And also, um, the insurance is going to be cheaper too. And when it comes to insurance, um, you want to get the, just the basic insurance, you know, the basic, you know, the, just the one that the law requires. Um, it's kind of risky cause you know, then if you do get in a car accident and then, you know, you know, but you know, just, you just need to be risky, you know, just, if you don't, I mean, this is, that's just how, that's just how, um, that's how I roll, you know, I mean, you just have to suck it up and then just try to, like, make it work. So, um, since you're going to be giving all your money towards the student loans, you're not going to have that much money to go out and party, you're not going to have much money to go out to restaurants and to movies, so you're going to have to find, uh, creative ways of, uh, spending your free time, um, with friends. So what I would suggest would be, you know, to go to the beach, um, go to your local, you know, state parks. You want to go to the library, you know, they have free internet, you know, um, free DVDs, you know, they have lots of, you know, cool releases, you know, movie releases, um, lots of cool books, you know. So I want to be like doing like outdoor activities, you know, like playing tennis, you know, like basketball, you know, um, as much as possible, you know, because you'll still be hanging out with friends, you'll be getting a workout and, you know, you won't be spending a bunch of money, you know, clubbing or, you know, or like on restaurants. Um, if you are a big movie, um, big movie fan, um, and you love going to movies, I recommend probably just going to movies just like once or at the most, uh, twice a month. Um, and just going like right before 12, you know, right before 12, you know, cause it's, cause it's cheaper right before noon. It's cheaper, you know, I think it's like six or seven dollars or something. So, um, and then just trying to like figure out which movies, you know, are actually worth seeing, you know, because there's some movies, you know, that the trailer looks good, but then, you know, it's like, oh, they got bad reviews. So just try to find out which movies, you know, um, everyone's like talking about, you know, and just watch, watching those because everything else that comes out, you know, could always get it on Redbox or, you know, just borrow it from a friend when it comes out, you know. Um, another thing I want to do is just basically stop spending money on fast food. Um, it all adds up, you know, $7 here, $5 there, it all adds up, you know. So you want to stop spending money on fast food. And that's also, you know, on Starbucks, you know, on Jamba Juice, you know. You don't want to be spending money that you don't need and that you don't have, you know. So what you want to be doing is making your own lunch, taking your own lunch to work. 
Um, you want to make taking your own take your own uh, coffee, you know, making your own making your own uh, protein shake at home, you know, with, like fruits, you know. So yeah, so basically that's how you would cut down those uh, expenses. And throughout the weeks and days, you know, you want to be saving the your receipts for everything, you know, save all your receipts. And then at the end of the month, um, just review your receipts and then see where um, where your uh, where your money is going towards, you know, where you've been spending money, you know, and then try to like minimize those uh, expenses, you know. For example, like I had, um, I was I was going over my receipts and I realized that one of them, you know, I, I was uh, I've been spending like too much money on oil changes, you know, for my for my car. Um, uh, I think it was, those, I think it was like sixty dollars um, every time I would have like an oil change. So I was trying to like, I was like, I looked online and trying, you know, different places, and I finally found, I found one that was like, that's uh, that was thirty bucks, you know, for oil chain, which is not that bad, I guess. Um, but still, you know, it just if it if you could, you know, if you're able to, you know, of course, you know, try to do your own oil change because you'll save a lot of money that way too. Um, there's lots of instruction, lots of uh, lots of great videos on YouTube, like how to do your own oil change and how to do this. You know how to you know prepare you know your lunch and all that kind of fun stuff. So when it comes to um, entertainment, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. Um, you also want to um, go to the beach, to hit up your local parks, go to the library, and then just try to find activities where you could like you know hang out with your friends, but you're also going to be doing you know you know. Uh, sports, you know, you want to be working out, you know, stay to stay in shape, you know, because that's that's very important as well. Um, another thing, um, when it comes to to gas, um, you want to be putting gas. Um, you don't want you want to be putting like a full tank of gas every time you fill up. Just fill up the tank, um, because it's you'll save money that way. Um, instead of just putting five dollars here, five dollars there, you know. Uh, just fill up the whole tank once it once it goes to empty. Just fill up the whole tank. You know, forty bucks, whatever it is. Just fill up the whole tank, and that way you'll save money. Um, you're also gonna be probably like the best the best days to put gas would be like Tuesday through Thursday. You know, those are usually um, the the days where you know the gas is a little bit slightly cheaper. You know, you don't want to put gas on a Friday because you know the weekend's coming up and I us the gas usually goes up on the on the weekends. Uh, and also a grateful, uh, really useful tool is um, is a website called GasBuddy.com. It's in the description below. Um, basically, that website you just put in your uh, zip code, and then it'll tell you um, where the the cheapest uh, gas um, station is in your area. So you don't have to be driving around trying to find the cheapest gas. So that's a very useful useful tool. Another thing that I would uh, suggest. Um, would be when it comes to clothes um, just try to keep the same clothes that you have you know because um, like I said you know you're not gonna have much money left over you know so you just gonna need to keep the the same clothes that you have you know and if you do need new new pants or, or new jacket or or uh, shirts um, you, you just go to go to a local thrift store or a goodwill you know and just try to spend uh, no more than 15 bucks on you know couple pairs of pants and some good um some good shirts um what else am i missing i think that's pretty much it so basically just to recap um you want to basically pay your pay it on pay your student loan on time and pay more than the minimum you want to move in with your parents or family members you know to save on rent um help out around the house you know do a bunch of chores and you know help out help basically do like you know manual labor i guess you could say around the house and sorry about that. One sec. Yeah, but so basically do a bunch of um, labor around the house, um, and that way um, you'll be able to afford to, to pay you know four hundred dollars a month you know on your student loans. And those are just a couple ways to save money. Um, and yeah, the, what it, what I found very useful is uh, saving the receipts, and at the end of the month, you know, going through them and seeing where you could save money, making your own lunch, you know. So those are just a few tips that I've used um, that helped me pay off um, my student loan. And because when I graduated, I had like twenty two, twenty, I think like twenty one or twenty two thousand um, dollars of student loan debts that I successfully paid it off in like a little bit more than four years. And that was just, um, 
because that was just like the best thing I've done is just pay that off. So I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about, you know, um, I just don't have to worry about that. So that's the huge weight off my shoulders. Another thing that I also, um, uh, another thing that I also recommend uh, now that my phone kind of was ringing uh, was just basically getting a, let me show you. Uh, just getting like a, just a basic phone like this, you know, it's not, it's not a smartphone, you know, I believe I only pay like, you know, like 50, 55 bucks a month. Um, you don't really need a smartphone. You don't, you don't need to be paying, you don't need to be paying a hundred bucks a, a month for a smartphone and all that kind of fancy stuff. You know, I mean, right now your priority is paying off the student loan. And so basically you're going to be paying off your student loan and everything else basically just trying to get basically just the basic basic stuff so basic you know phone basic lunch basic and everything should be just basic car basic 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 okay so this should just be basic and then just saving money and and trying to like make money on the side either um trying to get like a part-time job or two two full-time jobs uh two part-time jobs you know a, a temp job you know just you just need to get like an income somewhere somewhere you know somehow you know um sell stuff on craigslist you know old video games you know tvs whatever like i mentioned and just try to stretch your your money out uh, sorry about that so yeah those are a few things that you want to you want to be doing um thanks for watching and i hope all my advice uh was helpful thanks